What's up, everyone? Call my disco here, UIA TV. We got a great show here going on. We got uh, Mr. Christopher Guerrero, Made in America, on the other line. What's up, Chris? Hey, Carmine. Well, you know, today's a special show with a special guest. We're going to talk about our inventor showcase, October 21st. So think about this. There's going to be a wealth of knowledge, right, on panels to teach inventors and innovators how to get their products launched, how to get them licensed, and then... We're going to offer a competition and have folks pitch to panel experts from QVC, from HSN, and from All Star Products. And we're going to select two winners to go do it live in person in Vegas at the National Hardware Show. How much better does it get than that? Yeah, it, it doesn't get any better. And I tell you what, man, I want to pitch myself, get a free trip to Vegas. It's awesome. The hardware show is great. <laughs> and, uh, you know, this event that's coming up on the 21st in October, um, it is filling up. We're going to have to uh, we're going to have to really sharpen our pencils to get those products, man. We're getting a lot of people involved. Yeah, it's. I, I mean, how, how could you not? Right. When you think about the, the, the level of talent, the people we have, we have how to get, you know, how to learn how to get your, t- your product on TV. We've got really panel experts in in retail and manufacturing attorneys for for patents right and 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 then you got some other game hosts uh, shark tank right we got panels from shark tank we have panels from america's big deal like what what led to them getting on these big shows and and actually winning it you know and and then we've got uh, you know our amazing guest today marcy mckenna i mean i mean think about marcy for a second what she's done in this field right She's got her own own show really on, on the home shopping network with her travel and home product line. She has a, a, a women's inventors club that she that she hosts. I, I mean, she always works with us. She, she's so much fun to be around. And she has such an amount of incredible mm-hmm. knowledge of the industry. I mean, these are people you want to learn from. Right. So let's let's bring Marcy on. I'm so excited to have you today, Marcy. Thanks for being on. Uh, thank you guys for having me. I always love doing anything you guys ask me to do. So well, much we, fun. <laughs> we love we love having you. Honestly, it's it's like you're such a joy to be around and and re, and with your background and knowledge, you know, and what you've what you've what you've done now with your career, it's it's just it's been cool to watch. Like I, I didn't know you a year ago, right? And look at now, like thank we're you. doing things together. It's I see the stuff you're posting, and we always talk. It's just a, it's an absolute pleasure to have you on. But today is a special one. Because we want to talk about this mm-hmm. inventor showcase for October 21st. Yeah. You're going to be one of our, our, our big panel uh, guest judges, right? For this Zoom event, that's going to lead to a live event where a winner is going to be able to pitch to you directly in person. That's pretty cool. So, so I, I wanted to ask you, like, so what do you look for? Like, like when you look at products for the, for the network, like I'm sure you see so many. What, what, what's one, one thing that stands out that you say, oh, that's got an it factor to it. You know, it's a great question. It's, you know, the world of home shopping used to be very different from a retail perspective than other segments might be. But in my vision, the more that social media is becoming a critical element of having success in the retail space, whether it's e-com or home shopping or big box retail, there it's kind of the the lines are blurring a bit because what used to be so important in the home shopping world which was all about the visual all about the demo the problem the solution is it easily demonstrated on air um is you know is it something that you can understand the solution very quickly as you're watching it that used to be really kind of reserved for infomercials and the home shopping space but now for the inventor community, as you're designing products, whether you're planning on being in the home shopping world or planning on being on Amazon or on your own storefront or on the store shelves at brick and mortar, it's equally important today that your product be designed with all of that criteria in mind because you are going to need a great product video. And many of you know, you've heard me talk about it. There's nothing more important than a product video in today's world. Like if if you're going to invest money somewhere, that's where you invest money is a great product video. So if you're going to do that, you do need to be thinking of all those things I just mentioned of, is it easily demonstrable? Can I understand the problem and the solution very quickly? Is it visually captivating? And if it's not, 
Is there a way to design it, tweak it slightly to make it more visually captivating? If you can think of all those things when you're in that product development cycle when you're designing the product, that's going to make a huge difference in whether you succeed or not. And so when you ask, what do I look for? I mean, that's right away for me is I, I automatically start thinking of the story. I start thinking of what that's going to look like on camera. I start thinking of how the, the viewer, the consumer is going to digest what they're seeing. So it really is all about that. Um, it's also when you think of home shopping and Amazon really anywhere these days is thinking of that mass market appeal. Is this, you know, there are, there is an argument to be made for the niches or the riches are in the niches, but in home shopping, that's not the case. We really need something that most of America or most of the world, depending on if it's QVC or HSN, um, is going to, you know, we can relate to that problem and it's going to solve a problem for the masses. That makes yeah, sense. I, I, that, I'm, well, you're talking about good advice there because it really is different from a retail standpoint as far as showing it to a national audience, right? We talk about how do you get your, your product on TV is one, but really what you look for. And then I always think of this, right? Like everybody has to be a salesperson at some point. You have to be able to sell. I mean, because when, when you go to pitch, and I want to talk a little bit about pitching because people are going to be pitching you, right? We, we go to these yeah. shows. And I see people pitch and they're not ready to pitch. They might have a great product and the delivery is not very good, which kind of turns you off a little bit to the product, even though the product could be amazing. I, I've, I've seen that and I've used a product and then said, wow, this product is great, but I never got that from the pitch. So talk about that a little bit, how important that pitch is, because yeah. if you're not a good pitcher, then you might want to have somebody else do it for you because pitching mm -hmm. is so important. Yes. Yeah. I'm so glad that you brought that up, Chris, because my real, my quest, everyone says, why, you know, why are you, why do you put all this video content up? Why do you speak to inventors? What's in it for you? And really, because I am an independent inventor, I've been where all of you are right now. Um, I, when I look at the dismal success rate of inventions, I just thought, why, why does it have to be so low? This is not rocket science. We can do this. And when I dove deeper into what that number is about and why it's so low, I believe it has so much to do with, Chris, what you're saying with the pitch and the marketing. I really do. I think inventors, we are creative thinkers. We're problem solvers. We come up with amazing ideas. We love getting into that, you know, tinkering mode and designing and engineering and all of that. But so often the piece that we miss the void, the reason that it doesn't get off the ground the way we want it to is because the marketing part and the pitch becomes an afterthought. It becomes something that happens at the very end, scrambling because you got in the door somewhere and you've got to get it done. When really it should actually be part of your design process, thinking of what that pitch is going to be about. But not only that, when I think of what makes a great pitch, so much of it is about you or the person that's presenting it and the level of knowledge that you have and the way you carry yourself. I like to say that I, my wish for the independent inventor community is that you would look at your invention, not as a product, but as a business, and that you would look at yourself, not as an inventor, but as an entrepreneur and the CEO of this business, mm -hmm. even if that's so outside your comfort zone. If you want your product to succeed, when you do that pitch, it's important because the person receiving that pitch, the person that's listening and considering whether they're going to take on this product or not, they need to know that they're partnering with somebody that, number one, is all in. Number two is, you know, really understands the marketplace, understands the competition understands every element around that invention, not just the invention. So to me, when I see a great pitch and, and we've all watched Shark Tank and, you know, we, we've seen some really great ones and so much of about it, if you really dissect it, they really do talk about all those elements. It's not just about the invention, but it's about the market. It's about the competition. It's about the numbers. It's about, you know, so my advice would be, you know, when you start, if you can start with product validation, which is another thing that I talk about a lot, 
in that product validation process, when you're deciding whether you're going to go all in on this product and whether you're going to invest time and money in the product, the research that you need to do during that, that phase, all of the outcome, all the results of that research is going to be so golden when you do your pitch and document it, keep it somewhere because it's all of that that's going to go into your pitch and it's going to make you an entrepreneur and a CEO of the company, as I described. And so it's going to really have people listening and thinking, wow, this, this, you know, this person really knows their stuff. And hopefully you've come up with a great invention. So when you marry those two together, it's a home run. And so that's so many times I think what's missing and, you know, what I really want to impart. And, on, and you uh, don't, and you don't truly get out. a lot of time to do it, right? Like I, I've been in front of buyers. You have a limited time. They just want to get to the, to the point. You got to pitch yeah. them, sell them. And even if they're not bought yet, you got to really show them why this stands out and why they should put it in the stores. Then the rest is up to you to market it and get it sold. But, but that's yes. another thing, right? It's a short window. So you got to be, precise it's got to be you know you call it elevator pitch but it's got to be dead on if you have a great product the the delivery is equally as important all right yes. i have to say one more thing on that um the buyer and who you're pitching to getting in their mind and thinking about what's important to them so many times we want to tell our story because we're so excited about mm -hmm. how we came up with it and that's important for us and our grandparents and our parents and all of that but for the buyer all they care about, and it's going to be different for the different buyers. So do your background research to understand who you're going to be pitching to. And they care about their bottom line. They're afraid to lose their job if they say yes to a product that doesn't succeed. So if you know that, and you can make their job easier by giving them all that data and research and showing them how this is a can't miss for all of these reasons, then it's that becomes an easy yes. So getting in their head and understanding who they are is really, really key. All right. This is a great advice. It's a short version. We're going to have more of these leading up to our Inventor Showcase, October 21st. Marcy, thank you so much. There's so Absolutely. much to learn, so much to give. So I, I'm so excited. Carmine, I think that's a, that's a good wrap for today. Oh, that's awesome. So, so those little tidbits of information could really save somebody when they're pitching their product. They get that shot. So I think uh, all of this helps. Marcy, awesome stuff. So great to see you. Great to see you guys. And I'm really excited for the Inventor Showcase. I, I can't wait. And I'm so thank you guys so much for asking me to be a part of it. So we'll have uh, we'll have a link where they can sign up uh, on the video when we when we uh, release it, uh, which will be next week. Yep. So look forward to seeing everybody there. All right. Awesome. awesome. Thanks, everybody. And we'll talk to you soon. You all take care.